you, we're going to hook up our uh, sub panel here with number 10, 3, red, black, and white, and a bare ground wire. We're going to poke it through the wall. It's going to be in conduit where it's coming up the wall. Here in the country I was born in, we use 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare and the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. But in this case, both red and black are live because it's a 240 volt sub feed that's going to be supplying some 120 volt circuits and a 240 volt circuit. And the 240 volt circuit happens to be a small baseboard electric heater, which is wired with number 10, which was overkill, could have been wired with 12. If you look closely, the wire is made here in the country I was born in. So we're going to put a red here, a black here, and the white up here, and our bare ground wire down here. So we're pulling the wire. Okay, so I'm going to take our outer jacket off. I'm going to be very careful not to nick the wires underneath here. Okay, so there's our Black wire, I'll do the same for red wire. Okay, white is on this side. Be careful not to nick the under coating of the wire here. Okay, there we go. So here's our white wire. Pull the strip on the side of the ground wire. Beat the right. We'll see if we can get our red wire out of here. There it is. There we go. Okay, we got all our wires into our jacket there. Let's open up our three quarter inch knockout here.
not a handsome American actor here, but you know, I just pray that I will give him glory and honor. If I can't find it, I can't find it. And I don't have it, I don't have it. And I just worship him. You focus on the Lord, you don't frustrate. But guess what? I found it the volume four. So I praise him that I found it. Please, Mr. Gar. Connector in here. Maybe I'll put our wire in. Put our wires in first. That'll make it easier. Put it in the box. off of here. Okay, now we put our wire up into our box. Tighten up the way it's going to. out here. Ground is the bare ground wire, so we'll hook that up last and we'll bring our white wire, we'll bring it across. This way we'll put it, or we'll, put, we'll bring it up this way and we'll go back to the back of the box this way and then we'll come up, we'll come over and we'll come down this way. So we're going to strip it right here I'm going to show you a trick to make the uh, wire fit in the uh, bigger lug there. Since this is only a 30 amp sub feed, it's protected by a 30 amp breaker. We'll fold this here like this, and then we'll put that under the lug up here like this. We'll bring it 
screw up, get our wire down in there, make sure our copper is not under the, our insulation is not under the pressure plate, and we'll tighten it up. Get it back out of our way. Okay, now we'll bring our red, we'll put it up in here, so we'll bring it up along here. We'll bend it back here towards the back of the box. We'll bring it up, and we'll just come right back down. We'll strip it here. I'll cut it about right here. Make sure our copper isn't your insulation is not under the terminal there. And our copper's all the way through. Okay, so we got a good solid connection here. Make it nice and tight. Now we'll bring our black, we gotta get the black one over here. We'll bring it back across this way, bring it up here, and we'll cut it about right here. And we'll fold our wire over so we can accommodate the bigger terminal here. Yeah, make sure I don't get the copper the insulation under our screw head and I see our copper on the top there. Okay. Make it nice and tight and we'll push this wire back so it's out of our way. And now the last wire is our ground wire. We're gonna put it in here. Because in the sub panel, you have to keep your ground and your neutral separated. Okay, so we are all hooked up. We'll push it back out of our way here. That's nice and neat. And now we can take the wires, the mystery wires, we'll fold them up. Ugh. Take our red. I'll get them all twisted here. I'll fold them up so that they are. Nice and neat and out of our way. So there's our mystery red wire. It's going to be out of our way here. Hold up our mystery black wire. Hold it up. Get it out of our way. Now we don't know what this wire goes to and neither does the the homeowner. They don't know what it goes to either. So we're, we just cap them off. We're gonna put them out of the way make sure they don't touch anything we don't want them to touch. We're gonna make sure our wire nuts are on here. White, mystery white wire up. Make sure our wire nuts are nice and tight. Fold it up, get it out of our way.
get back out of our way here. Then we'll just fold our ground wire up, fold this up nice and tight, down out of the way of everything. Okay, it's back out of the way of everything, and that is how to wire a uh, sub panel. So I'll make sure all our breakers are off, and we're all set. So that is how to wire a 30 amp sub feed into the sub panel. Peace. Thanks for watching.